Hello and welcome to ET Garage. Today it's a uh, test and tune. Well, maybe it's test and tune. We'll find out. Okay, like I was saying, today is a uh, test and tune day. At least it might be. Uh, depending on the weather, the weather's kind of iffy right now. I'm going to probably get going here in a few minutes and uh, get gas and head to the track. It's about, you know. 25 30 minutes from where I live uh it's right now it's in the I believe the high 30s I'm not even sure but it's supposed to get up to the high 40s and that's it it's supposed to be cloudy all day uh hopefully it doesn't do anything other than that now uh last time the best time I ever did with this car at a testing tune was some years ago and that was uh I did a 12.9 at 109 something like that and that was with the tune port intake and now i have that short runner intake the chinese intake if you haven't seen i'll leave a playlist at the end of this video or somewhere during this video uh which is a short runner intake now i still have the same gearing in the rear and uh i'm still going to be launching this real easy because i also still have the dana 36 so I tend to launch it real easy. I also run old season radials. These are the Michelin's uh, old season radials. These actually grip pretty good. How traction will be today at the track? That will depend how fast I go. I'm thinking with the conditions the way they are, I might do mid 13s. I think this mo this motor I haven't had on a dyno yet, but it makes more power up top than the tune port does based on my uh, butto meter. But uh, until I get a dyno, I won't know. But for all practical purposes, whether it makes more power up top or not, with that gearing, it'd probably be slower in a quarter than it will be with the tune port. But we'll find out. Hopefully here shortly. So uh, I guess I'll get going and get to the track. All right, here we are at the track, and I'm way too early, apparently. Uh, I thought they were going to start running around 9, but they're not going to start running until 10, and it's like 8.40 right now. The uh, way it looks, uh, this, there's some clear sky peeking through, so that's a good sign. And uh, hopefully the sun will come out and warm the track up a little bit. But the, I don't know if you can see the windsock down there, but the way it looks, we'll be drawing that way. The start line is over there and the windsock is blowing that way so we'll be fighting a headwind that shouldn't be a problem for me i'm gonna see four corvette as a low uh low coefficient of drag anyway uh i doubt it will affect my time too much the way that sock if the sock keeps blowing away it is it ain't that much of a wind uh so hopefully uh the sun will come out and uh Warm the track up a little bit, and uh, around 10 o'clock, I should uh, be out there to get my first run in. First run, I usually blow. I usually end up have. That's where I usually get my feeling for uh, for traction. Uh, so uh, usually, I usually end up spinning like crazy the first uh, run. That and the tire. Beside the fact that the tires are cold. I usually go around the burnout box because I'm running old season radials. Uh, that's what I always been told to do. So that's what I always do. No sense wasting rubber on the tires if I don't have to. The idea is not to spin your tires when you launch and get as much uh, traction as possible. But uh, so the first run I'll probably blow. Probably end up like in the 14 seconds. I remember one time. When you're here, I think I spun them halfway down the track. Not because I had a lot of horsepower, I just didn't have traction. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully soon we'll get going. And uh, hopefully they'll also have the kitchen open so I can get a cup, uh, hot cup of coffee. But, uh, right now, looks like we might have some blue sky. Hopefully it'll stay that way. 
All right, they just called us up to the lines. Uh, unfortunately, there's a slight sprinkle, so I don't know. I'm gonna go over there to the lines, get inspected, see what happens. Uh, I think the weather's gonna go south on us, so see what happens. All right, it doesn't look good right now. We're, uh, they just called us up to the line and the wind is blowing strong. Looks like it's a crosswind now and it's raining. So they're gonna have to wait for the rain to clear up. The sun is in and out. I think I might, I think this day, uh, I think this day might turn out to be a bust. I'm not gonna get good times and uh, the crosswind isn't gonna help. I'd rather have a headwind or a tailwind, but a crosswind, even in this car, uh, isn't great especially uh if you get up to over 100 miles an hour uh, this car ain't too much of trouble some of these other cars i i wouldn't want to be in there if you got a real strong crosswind like that old buick that mustang over there uh big rig that's behind me i don't know if you guys can see that at the that's going to be a limiting factor also. Anyway, I hope I at least get three runs in. Uh, I don't expect to do good. I figure mid-13s. Uh, I'll be happy with mid-13s, actually, in this weather. It's just the way it is. No, oh, well, that's racing, I guess. I'm not really a drag racer, by the way. People follow my channel. I have a couple of videos where I've been here at New Media before. The best I ever did, like I said, was 12.9. Um, at 109, somewhere around there. That was with the tune port set up. That tune sort set up is actually better with the gearing I have in this. I have 307 gears in the rear and the 4L60 automatic transmission. With this uh, short runner intake, it's more of a top end intake. If I had 354s in this, that would be work really good with this for drag racing. I'm not going to go 354s. I do a lot of cross country. Uh, um, traveling and uh, stuff like that. I'd rather have the 307s for that. For as much time as I spend on a drag strip or any type of event, I'm still better off with the 307s. Well, I'll get back to you here shortly. So hopefully we'll get going. All right, looks like we're getting ready to go. like a uh, 14 
105 at 105. It's spilling oil somewhere, so let me go check it out. All right, looks like I got a bad oil engine leak. And it uh, looks like it's coming from the rear of that Chinese intake manifold. Lady said it looked pink, but uh, the trans fluid looks good. The level's right. So I don't think it's that. I fixed that trans leak the, uh, in my one of my last videos. So uh, I really won't know till I get home to be sure. But uh, let's get the hood open and we'll take a look. And uh, it doesn't look like I'll be doing any more running today. It's just the brakes. All right, that kind of made for a bad day. It's not real bad from what I can tell. I won't know until I get home. Uh, I think I'm going to just head home right now, and then I'll uh, wrap up the video from there in the garage. But uh, it doesn't look too serious, hopefully. You won't know, like I said, until I uh, check things out. So hold tight. I'll head on home and then uh, park this thing in the garage and figure out what to do next. All right, I'm back in the garage, and uh, looks like the weather's starting to get nice out. Figures, now that the, I'm back home and away from the track. I probably could have kept running. I don't know if they would have let me keep running, but it's not worth it. Uh, oil, you don't want oil dripping on the track. That being said, there's some cars there that I know that are just leaking like sieves. But uh, I got two runs in. The first one for the first run was actually pretty decent. I did get where I expected. Second run, I ended up lighting the tires up for about 50 feet, so I lost traction and ended up in the 14s. Uh, and also, that's when I blew, uh, I could see a bunch of smoke come out the back, and that's from the oil leaking on the headers, as far as I can tell. Uh, coming home, the car ran really good. It's just uh, leaking oil from the back of that china, from around the distributor and back by the china wall, from what I can tell. I'll try and include a picture of it somewhere up here but uh that seems to be the ongoing story with this cheap chinese intake so uh i think i did in another video my my final recommendation uh not to buy it no well, there's another reason not to buy it uh it has to do with that the china walls just it actually came up short on the back and then it wasn't machined correctly so it's probably leaking from there i don't know if i had excess blow by that uh helped the problem it doesn't feel like it. The motor's running real good. I don't see any smoke coming out the tailpipes. That I can tell. Uh, all I can do is uh, take a look at it tomorrow when this thing cools down. And uh, either way, to fix it, I'm probably going to have to take the intake off. And then uh, decide whether to stay with that intake. Go back to the tune for it intake. Or... Do what? I don't know. Find out. Future video. For now, I'm going to call it a day. And uh, everybody have a better day than I am. And God bless.